Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we want to learn how to use AI in our contact center and how it can help us to do some items or some automations. Let's start with the demo. What I want to do is that I'm calling a number, a local number. Hello, you have reached demo communications. How can I assist you today? Would you like to be transferred to the sales department or the support department? Please transfer to the uh, sales department. So, and here I can answer the call. So what is the scenario here? I have, uh, I have a customer that calls a landline. Let me go back to the slide. I have a customer who calls uh, my contact center I'm sending the call to an AI agent. Here I'm using SignalWire because I really like how they work and the team and everything about them. So the call will send to the SignalWire AI agent. It will answer the call and uh, based, on the, based on what customer wants, it will transfer to uh, my local call center agents that are registered in the free switch or here I'm using Fusion Pervix. So the call will reach, here I'm using Twilio uh, SIP carrier. I just use Twilio to show that it doesn't need to be uh, from any specific provider or from the signal wire. It can be even your local uh, provider. The call can come, I don't know, to Deutsche Telekom or I don't know, to Telecom Malaysia or where are, wherever you are and it will uh, receive the call in that carrier. It will send to your Pervix, your Pervix can be on your premise, in your office, or it can be in the cloud, it doesn't matter. It should, of course, understand SIP or whatever technology that you are connecting to the telco. And then the call will be transferred to the SignalWire AI agent. The good thing about the SignalWire AI agent is that it removed a lot of complexity, so you don't need to do all the voice, um, voice to text, text to voice, or a lot of complexity is already removed, and what you are sending to SignalWire AI is just a SIP call and the uh, signal agent based on the prompts and based on the description that you have will do an instruction for example here it will ask uh, how can i help you should i transfer to the sales or uh, support of course it can be anything based on the ai prompts it has a, a very um, very um, complete and i can say uh, very advanced scripting language that you can uh, do whatever you want in, uh, and limit and also add some uh, functionalities to the AI agent and based on the decision of the customer it will transfer back call to the Fusion PBX to our free switch to our local uh, system here and then it will transfer call to our contact center agent and a phone will ring. This is what we will learn how to implement today. I hope it's useful. Okay, let's go to more details and uh, understand and learn how we can implement such a scenario. The first step is actually to have a inbound trunk for your uh, PBX. Um, I'm just explaining how you can do it in the Fusion PBX and also Twilio so that in case you are using the same uh, systems, uh, you know what are the steps. So uh, in the Twilio, of course, you need to create a trunk. You need to go to the Elastic Trunking and also Add a new trunk and in your trunk mm, uh, what we need is just the originations to be set so we just set uh, where we want to send the calls to here is our uh, SIP server here our fusion pbx ip address that i use for this demo and also we need to assign a number the number that we have already bought you can click add the number and this is the number that i uh, that i'm calling so that it can reach my ai agent what we need to do in the Fusion PBX, you need to go to the destination numbers, dial plan destination number, uh, click add, and in the destination number, you can uh, put the exactly the same number that you bought in the Twilio or, I don't know, other trunk provider, and then you can tell it where to send to. For now, just send it to the extension 1001, so that when you call that number, your uh, soft phone will ring. Of course, I have created two extensions, 1001 and 1002, 1001 for the sales and 1002 for the support department, and I have registered in my Zoeper application. 
into my Fusion Pebex. So the first part is done and when we are calling this uh, Twilio, it will be received in our uh, Fusion Pebex and the Zoiper should ring. The next step is to integrate our Fusion Pebex to the SignalWire AI agent so that we can send the calls to the SignalWire platform and especially SignalWire AI agent. So what we need to do uh, for such a scenario, we need to go to our SignalWire account, you need to create a SIP endpoint, uh, click new and then add a SIP endpoint. I have multiple videos on how to integrate your FreeSage, Visidal, I don't know, asterisk system to the SignalWire, so I'm not explaining detail and you can refer to that videos. And you can create a username, you can give it a password, and in the Fusion Pebex, you need to go to the uh, accounts, gateways, click add, and then in the signal wire, you just click a gateway, username is what you have put it here, and the password, the from user, from domain is the, uh, you can get all of them from here, this is the from user and from domain, uh, sorry, the domain, this is the username, and also the password that you have set it here and just the context let it be public and a description that is signal wire. If you click on the application gateways, after some time you should see it should be registered. And also in your signal wire, uh, let me go to the signal wire account to the SIP. You can see the last registers has is less than a minute ago because it's re refresh and it's renewed its registrations. And the next step is to send calls to this uh, signal wire from your Fusion PBX to do that. You need to go to the dial plan, outbound routes, add, and then let's say if someone calls, even from your system calls, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six dollars, we wanted to send to the gateway of signal wire and then give it a description to signal wire. So it means that if I in my uh, Zoiper, if I call one, two, three, four, five, six, of course, after I have saved it, it will send to the uh, signal wire. I have already have this one, so I'm not saving it. But in your signal wire, you need to go to the SIP, and then you need to tell if someone send a call through this uh, SIP endpoint to where I want to send to. Uh, here, there is a call handler. You can send it to an AI agent, and then go and create your AI agent. That is a basic AI agent. Of course, it has advanced as well. We can use that one, but we are using another technology here that is SWML. But uh, if you want to know what is an AI agent, uh, you can go to the AI agent, just create a very simple one. For example, here I created a Alice AI agent. You are the AI assistant of, I don't know, uh, Minu. You, uh, you help to register her address and answer. This is something that I just created, I don't know, to show one of my friends in the OpenSIPS conference. So and this is the AI agent, but this is not what we use it. Why? Because there is a, a specific functionality that we want to send call back to the free switch and to a call center agent that we need to use a, a specific function that is not available in the AI basic agent as I know, of course. So what we need to use, we need to use SWML. Uh, it's a, a scripting language that by the signal wire that uh, as you can see, it is in the YAML and JSON format. It's very understandable i can say for example here answer the call play music and this is the file that you want to play also it will give you the functionality to work with their ai in a very advanced level it's very um, i think very uh, complete and powerful uh, scripting language that you can use it here so what i have done here in my signal wire i created a but where you want to put this swm of course you can host a node.js if you are using i don't know node.js or you can host a server and put your script there run a i don't know proxy server a web server but there is an easier way as well in the signal wire panel you can go to the real relay swl ml click swml script and then host your uh, swml script here and as you can see here, for example, I use the AI prompt. You are the virtual assistant of demo communications. Greet the caller with the company name. It's not the best, definitely, uh, prompts, but it's enough to show you what is the scenario. And especially for the transfer part, because this was something a little more tricky when you're using the basic AI agent, you don't have this C prefer function, but uh, uh, you need to use SWML so that you can transfer call back to your contact center. And as you can see here, I just created two sales transfer and uh, support transfer. 
that of course it's there is no limit right you can even read this information from a database from a web service and then update the information and everything and the important part is here that you need to use a C prefer function so that you can send if someone for example said, said I want to talk to the sales we want to send call back using a refer function to our uh, fusion prefix or free switch and free switch needs to send back to the 1001 so here we are using C prefer and we can send it to a specific URI that is 1001 so when someone calls it will call to Twilio Twilio will send to the free switch we now have this part so the free switch will send to the AI agent and then it sends to a SWML and SWML based on what uh, color decides it will send to the 1001 or 1002 or whatever you have defined there. The only point is that now in a way you need to, if you remember in the destinations for the Twilio, we have created this number and we send it to extension uh, 1001. That's okay, That's let it be there. Uh, but we want, when someone calls to our uh, system, we want to send it to the AI agent. So you can go to the dial plan and you can go to the, uh, sorry, inbound routes and then edit the number that, uh, edit your DID, and instead of 1001, just change it to 123456. And because we have defined this 123456 to send to the AI agent, so an incoming call will reach, it will send to the 123456, 123456 will send it to the signal wire agent, and if the customer decides to transfer, it will refer back to 1001 or 1002, that are our contact center agents. This is how the full flow works uh, using these components. As, we as you can see, there is no uh, text-to-speech, a speech-to-text, or a lot of complexity that if you want to implement this, uh, I don't know, using other systems, you need to do a lot of these items. Of course, all of them are possible in both free switch, asterisk, or other systems, but I mean, this is much more easier to implement as well. And before I finish this video, let's uh, see the SIP call flow. So I log into my uh, Fusion PBX, run SNGREP to see the SIP call flow, and then let's call the number. Hello, you have reached Demo Communications. How can I assist you today? Are you looking to transfer your call to the sales department or the support department? Sales department, please. Okay, so let's see the call flow. The call came, the invite came from the Twilio IP address. As you can see here, the user agent is Twilio Gateway to our Fusion PBX. And it sends to the number, to this number. This number is already defined in our destination. This is exactly the destination number that we have defined. And then we have sent it to 123456 that this one, two, three, four, five, six, in our outbound route is sending to the signal wire. I'm sure there are other ways to send the call to the uh, signal wire as well, but this is the method I'm using. And next step is that our fusion public send it to the signal wire. Of course, signal wire wants to authenticate because we have a SIP uh, we will uh, send the invite with the authentication. And the important part is the refer. When the voice happened and when we talked and we said that we want to talk to the sales department, as we can see, a SIP refer uh, is sent and it is sent to 1001 at the IP address of our Fusion PBX. And this is how we are transferring to the uh, Zoiper to the Fusion PBX and Fusion PBX, of course, it sends it to the 1001, that is, uh, our Zoiper is registered there. And uh, that's it, that's, and of course, the, from the Fusion PBX to my Zoiper, that it's the temporary IP address of the Zoiper, that it is registered, that is 1001. So, let's see all together, and as you can see, the call comes from Twilio to our Fusion PBX. Fusion PBX uh, send it to the uh, signal wire. And if we come down, when we got the refer, 
of course it's sending to my Zoeper that I, we cannot see that because this is a smaller but this is the IP address of my Zoeper. I will save this zip flow as well so that you can see it and uh, s compare with your zip flow if you had a problem in the uh, registration. Thank you for watching this video and uh, hope to see you in the next video and if you have any questions or any comments please put into the comment of this video. Thank you and see you in the next video.